Hello, Alex. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, I had this verse in my mind this morning from the Bible, and it's this one that, that goes, uh, Be wise as serpents and gentle as doves. Okay. And it's actually been in my mind the whole day, so I know that God's trying to tell me something because it's just been repeating my mind. And I think it refers to, you know, the situation in the world right now is how to navigate these times. Mm -hmm. It feels like it's just very good advice for how to navigate these times. Yeah. Because I, I look at the news and I don't know what to believe. Yeah. I don't know if there is UFOs, I don't know if there is a virus, I don't know, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that you have deeper insights into these things okay. than I do. So, okay. Yeah. I just wanted to ask you, yeah, your thoughts on how do we, how do we navigate these times when we're receiving all these messages from the media? What can we trust? What should we question? Yeah. Well, um, the media is is essentially um, being used as a, an emotional ma ma manipulation tool. Mm. So, obviously, God wants us to be in peace mm -hmm. because when we're in peace, then we can we can see clearly. You know, we can see we can see the way He wants to to see, mm. and there's no fear in our heart because obviously when we're afraid yeah. then there's turbulence we're, yeah. we're not at rest mm. God wants our hearts to be at rest mm -hmm. <clears throat> mm. and so the media essentially now is being used um, just to keep everyone emotionally turbulent right. to keep them in this kind of flurry of confusion mm. of anxiety anger so you know the media mm. tells you who you should be angry with let's mm -hmm. all get angry with this public mm. figure let's all be angry with that person mm. this group of people and so the media now is just basically um it's it's like um it's a bit like a, a child you know who, you know if you get this uh you get a child who's desperate for attention and they'll just do anything as long as they've got your attention yeah. they'll smash down something or they'll scream or they'll they'll do whatever it takes as long as they've got your attention <coughs> yeah, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Doesn't matter if it's good or bad. Yeah. That child, <laughs> all they want is your attention. Well, it's the same with the media. All the media wants is our attention, so it can continue to um, to um, hypnotize us and get us believing and thinking along certain lines, mm. none of which are aligned to God. None mm. of none of which are in line with the way God wants us to see things, and none of which will help us to feel more peaceful. And um, and the media just wants us in this state of emotional turbulence, so that we're not we're not trusting, we're not feeling this sense of peace, and not and not tuning into God, because mm. the last thing, you know, well, as I say the media, last thing that evil wants, and the, mm. and the media is pretty much, in my reckoning, about eighty to ninety percent in the hands of evil now, almost entirely, the media is in the hands of evil, and so. Um, um, the media just um, it wants to steer us away from anything that brings us close to God. It wants mm. to put us in a completely the opposite direction. So, you know, if you're talking about being as wise as a serpent, then it's really important mm. to understand, mm. to be wise and understand that the media is trying to manipulate you. Mm. And essentially, as a whole entity, you know, and we're talking about um, TV programs, news, the movie industry, um, children's books well sorry books mm. in general magazines pop industry mm -hmm. um, video games you name it all of those arms of the media all those tendrils of the media um, we should be very very mistrustful mm. of all of them you know and I wouldn't go searching for the truth on the media I just would not bother yeah. if I had any advice to give anyone I would say switch it all off <laughs> and spend your time in nature Mm. You know, because that's where um, that's where you'll get an insight into mm. into the way God wants you to to see, the way God wants you to feel, the way God wants the good mm. news. You know, mm. the good news because the media is all essentially doom and gloom, dystopia, paranoia. Mm. It, it doesn't want you feeling peaceful. It doesn't want you to <coughs> trusting and feeling positive. It just does not want you feeling positive. And when I spend time in nature and when I go up into the hills, then the message from God is to celebrate you know that there's it just there is so much um so much good news 
but it's obviously it's spiritual good news. Mm. And I think the problem with people is that because they've become disconnected from the spiritual awareness, that they're looking for good news in the world. So they want to switch on, and they want they're mm. just desperate to find something on YouTube or on mm. the news that that's good news. They want to hear something good. But um, even that, you can't trust good news in the media because it's it's um, it's just manipula- it's manipulation, pure mm. manipulation. You know, you might find that suddenly then there's some loads of good news stories, and everyone's everyone's like, oh, isn't it isn't this mm. great? But then often we're being lulled in, lulled into a false sense of security mm. where. Um, Right before something pretty bad happens, mm. everyone's lulled into this sense of, oh, everything's okay now, mm. everything's going back to normal, and then bam, mm. suddenly the media, because it, it wants to shock you, the media wants to shock you, because when you're mm. shocked, then you'll behave in a way mm-hmm. which um, which is extreme, mm. and you'll essentially just follow um, follow the orders of the government, or mm. it's shock, the media likes to shock you, because when you're in a state of shock, you're more suggestive, can be you can be steered mm. and so I just would not trust the media mm-hmm. I mean when we hear people speaking and when we see someone that we might there might be someone <coughs> we see who's saying something or some say public figure or some famous person who we who we can tell is coming from their heart and then and they're not interested in manipulation and they're not part of the deception and um, and so if we can if we're completely sure that we can trust an individual and if our heart tells us that it, that person is trustworthy mm-hmm. and of course mm-hmm. there's nothing wrong with listening to what they say and and um, kind of um, following them you mm-hmm. know following them what they've got to say but um, you know in terms of being wise as serpents what you need to know who's trying to manipulate you mm-hmm. and you need to know how how far it goes the extent to which the manipulation goes mm-hmm. you know a large number of famous Hollywood actors are now part of the deception. They're just they're in the they're in the um, under the payroll of the mm. what would you call their the decept- deceptive agenda. Mm. But how do you know that? How do you know? Well, because I've been studying the media, following the media for um, like twenty years. When I say following the media, I mean analysing the media and looking at the messages, looking at the um, agendas, looking at the propaganda. I'm, you know, I'm really um, I'm very, I could say, well studied on propaganda. I know propaganda when mm. I see it immediately, mm. because it's it's never straight and clear. It's always some clever, some cleverness in it, some clever use of words, clever use of imagery, or um, people are, are trying to. Um, how can I say this? They're trying to uh, mm. ingratiate you and make you like them. Mm-hmm. You know, mm. it's not honesty. There's mm. mm-hmm. a lack of honesty. Mm. So we can see honesty. We've got a radar for honesty, and we can tell. We can tell when some, someone's being honest. But how do I know that? How do I know that a lot of um, famous people are? Um, yeah. What is it that tells you that they're um, on that side of things? Because when you know the agenda, when you know the deception mm-hmm. and and the full um, details of of what the agenda is mm-hmm. then you can see this the celebrities and the famous people and the politicians most of the politicians you can see who is stepping in line with that agenda mm. as soon as you see they're stepping in line with that agenda and they're promoting that agenda or they're they're kind of supporting it in some mm. way and uh, so when you know the ad- agenda very very in great de- in great detail then you can see those who are who've been roped into supporting it or mm. propagating it it becomes obvious but there's lots of things I couldn't possibly tell you in this video because it would take too long but mm. you know you can see like the trajectory of say f- certain actors and you can see by what they get involved with the, the movies they get involved with the people they get involved mm. with mm-hmm. there's certain films mm. which are propaganda films like horror films trying to spread very dark messages and certain actors mm. pop up in mm-hmm. all of these films uh, yeah. and they always they always come up in these dark films and uh, and when you research them, and you can see that they've they've gravitated towards the dark side, so to speak. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's not something that's easy to explain. But mm-hmm. with you know, when you start paying great attention to what people are doing, what which which mm-hmm. actors are doing what, and mm-hmm. what kind of films are being promoted by what what kind of films are being produced by certain kinds of directors, and you can see what's going on. Mm-hmm. But of course, um, you need to study it. Yeah, you need to give it a lot of so attention. So, do you think it is important? to to be aware 
of the agenda you know you mentioned to uh, yeah yeah you think it's important or just to ignore <coughs> the whole thing because that's something I sometimes I, I I feel inclined just to switch it all off to ignore it all yeah. but then I keep finding myself getting curious again well and, there's, um, there's two but I don't know what to believe <coughs> yeah there's two answers to this first is um, mm. don't go near the media at all switch it all off mm. don't pay any attention don't believe anything don't believe mm. anything you hear mm. about what's going on mm -hmm. um, anything which anything which um, might be inspiring fear or could mm. inspire fear don't believe it mm. because that's not how God works God doesn't want to inspire fear in you mm. <coughs> God wants you to be joyful and happy and, mm -hmm. and trusting so any, any information which is trying to inspire fear um, and which is what the, the media is doing to a large extent then you just don't need it you don't mm. need the, you don't need anything the media's got for you of course it's a communication tool when you think of social media it's great for staying in touch with people but as regards the rest of it I mean you just don't need mm. it people think they need the media they think they need YouTube they think they need distraction they think they need entertainment they're just hooked they're just the <clears throat> they're, you know this society we live in this consumer society has got most mm. of us hooked onto its product which is the media the media is the main tool mm. of deception mm. you know it's um it's it worries me actually because you see so many people you know on their phones when you just go out into the town or whatever and um and then you realize that yeah so if if the if the the media you know run by you know evil or whatever um has an agenda and and everyone's tuning into that yeah then you, you 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 quite likely will have a whole generation of people who've who've been manipulated, yeah. and that's worrying. That really bothers me. You know, it's very um, it's very very concerning because mm. because it's very well organised, mm. and um, you know, it's it is an agenda just like in Nazi Germany, um, to Hitler said, "He alone who owns the youth gains the children," oh, yeah. and right now, um. All the younger generations have been completely hypnotised mm. and steered in a direction which will make them uh, susceptible to um, be involved in dark things. Mm. That the young people are getting um, sure, pulled it? towards the darkness. They're mm. being sold this idea of the, the allure of the dark side, the uh, allure mm. of power, of the allure of anger. Like anger's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Like getting angry with people, showing your power. Yeah, which is op <coughs> opposite to being gentle as a dove. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And young people are being prepared for the um, Antichrist agenda, which is very similar to what happened in Nazi Germany. You know, this agenda where um, divide the people in the most extreme ways possible. Because, I've said this before in other videos, that the best way to, to destroy a society mm. is get one, part of the, get one part of society to attack the other part yeah. so then one side's getting attacked and the mm. other people who are doing the attacking mm. well they're in just a bad situation mm. because they've they've mm. allowed their hearts to be taken over by anger mm -hmm. and hatred mm -hmm. and that's just as yeah. that's maybe even a worse poison that's even worse for the soul mm. than mm. being attacked mm. but um, that's mm. that's the prime method of destroying a society yeah, and interesting. is to get one mm. half attacking the other half yeah. it happened in Rwanda mm -hmm. happened in Nazi Germany mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's happened in many many places mm. um, but that's exactly what's happening now uh, yeah interesting across yeah because because i was beginning to see you know i don't watch a lot of media but i mm. watch the odd you know bit of news and things like that yeah. and i keep seeing this it's almost like like hornets nests are being stirred so 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 you're having um blacks against whites or whites against blacks and that, yeah. that pot's being stirred yeah. and then you've got the police uh you, you know the police versus yeah, civilians police versus civilians civilians versus police you know yeah. that pot's getting stirred and then yeah and women against men and that's getting stirred and yeah it's 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 almost like all these going on at the same time and it really does look like <coughs> because i have you know i stand back a little bit i'm not too involved with these things but it's um it, it looks like whoa you know this is this is pur purposeful you know to get people angry and fighting each other and yeah poking and prodding and stirring the pot and yeah. yeah, I mean, you asked me about um, yeah. do people need to understand mm. the agenda or mm. the deception mm. yeah. and what its purpose is and what yeah. the ultimate aim is, and um, you know, I think that there's, there are people who, if they if they understood it all, you know, it would just oppress them and make them feel really worried and anxious yeah. and afraid. Hopeless. But having said that, mm. we um, it's good to be realistic because until you realise 
the, uh, the plans of the enemy, you don't realise mm. the, the salvation that's on offer and how much you need to be saved mm. and, um, yeah. and what you need to do to be saved. Um, because if you think, well, everything's going to work out. So those people, there are people who think things look dark, but I think everything's going to work out. You know, the good will overcome evil. Well, in a way it will, but mm. they think society is going to be corrected. It's going mm. to correct itself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and that the... Um, just like if everyone yeah. thinks, oh, the, the coronavirus is just going to come to a peaceful end and everything's mm. going to go back to normal. Mm. And so there, there, there is this idea that everything's going to be all right. Um, but when you understand the scale and the, the pure evil um, behind the deception that's going on, mm. mostly on our screens, by the mm. way, which is, of course, affecting yeah. our society, but mostly on the screens, mm -hmm. then, um, then you'll realise, well, hang on a second, this... Um, this is bigger than I thought. Mm. And then when you realise that th how, how vast the uh, manipulation and the deception is, then you realise that there is only one way out mm. because, you know, people like to feel safe, people like to feel secure and they like to think, they like to have a, they like to see something positive in the future to aim towards. And, um, and so if you think that everything's going to work out in the society and if things are going to be all right, and then you, can, you don't feel like you need divine mm. help. Mm. You know, you think yeah. like it's going to work out on the material level. Yeah. So, you know, if you just store up enough food and just save up your money, or then it's going to work out and you can survive. Mm -hmm. You can survive the the um, the troubles, the turbulence. The turbulence. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. but actually, the the battle is is in here, mm -hmm. and the battle is for for our mind. Well, actually, the battle's for our heart. Mm -hmm. So that I said said this to you before. Mm -hmm. The battleground is in here. Mm. and the prize is your heart mm. so if evil wins a battle in here mm -hmm. and it claims your heart and mm. your heart gets dragged into yeah. misery and pessimism mm -hmm. suffering and doom mm -hmm. and hopelessness mm -hmm. and that means that evil has succeeded in claiming mm -hmm. your heart mm -hmm. and of course um, we all want to avoid that mm -hmm. and so um, and so this is why the battle has to be won here mm -hmm. we have to we have to um, realize that the battle is happening for our mind we mm. have to realize this is happening mm -hmm. and the, the idea is to pull us into negativity mm -hmm. pull us into the the realm of darkness and fear and worry when god actually wants our mind to be a, a, a place of joy and of, mm. of faith and of hope mm. and victory mm -hmm. and um and really what happens in the material world is not in our hands it's not it's not um that's right it's in his hands yeah it's in god's hands and it's not it's not what we should be focusing on mm -hmm. each one of us right now should be focusing every day on what's going on in here mm -hmm. because that's where the bat that's mm -hmm. what the battle where mm -hmm. the battle is happening mm -hmm. and um and so this is why the media is so um insidious because it's it, it continues to get everyone's attention you know, does, thinking yeah. that that's yeah, important. Yeah. That oh, this this coronavirus isn't real. How can they do this and mm -hmm. get people into this state of injustice? All the time, they're being distracted from what um, where the battle is happening, mm -hmm. which is a battle for your attention and the battle for your and the battle to win your heart. So, um, so that's why it's important to give as little attention as possible to the media because all it's going to do is uh, confuse you and um, create turbulence, create disruption in your equilibrium mm -hmm. when we really want to be feeding a sense of peace feeding a sense of balance mm -hmm. kind of feeding our equilibrium so that we can be in tune with god so we can um mm -hmm. so we can feel god's goodness mm -hmm. and um and so just tr to try and answer the question should we uh, give our do we need to know what the deception is we need to understand that um that God's kingdom is not is not <coughs> God's kingdom is um, not spiritual. <laughs> it's not of this world. <laughs> yeah. God's kingdom is spiritual, and everything mm. he wants to give us is spiritual. So it's in here, and it's in here. Okay, that's that's where God wants us to to experience his his gifts. Okay, and now Satan is at work in the world. You know, Lucifer, the devil, mm. the enemy. Satan is mm. basically um, he's the god of this world. He's the god of this world. Yeah. And so if you can think, if you think, well, what would Satan do if he had this world? You know, what would he orchestrate? Mm. How cruel would it be? How, mm. how brutal would it be? Mm. How evil and um, sadistic would it be? Mm. That's what Satan wants to do mm. in this world. And he's, it's happening through the media. Mm -hmm. it's, and he's creating, um, through the media, he's creating his army of 
young people who mm-hmm. will carry out mm. who whose whose minds are being completely brainwashed for a different way of viewing mm. the world that we think is is kind of sensible or normal everyone over maybe above the age of 30 thinks is like intelligent sensible okay they see things in a very balanced way well um mosquito Thanks. then satan is essentially um turning everything around for the younger generation so mm. they see it's all wrong everything is wrong this is all bad that these these bad people these you know these how can i say people who are in power the the right-wing capitalist christian blah 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 they're evil they're evil and they're trying to they're trying to destroy they don't care about the earth they're trying to destroy destroy the earth and essentially creating this army of people who will do anything Mm. to save the earth Mm. who will do anything who will Mm. oppress anyone Mm -hmm. if it means saving the earth Mm. and it means um getting rid of the bad guys Mm. 